Hey there internet, it's Philips here. On today's video, I'm reaching out to you guys for your help with a bit of an issue that I've run into lately. Quite recently, I went on a bit of a shopping spree and amongst other things, I've picked up an eGPU setup for my 2017 13 inch MacBook Pro with a touch bar. Specifically, the combo that I've gone with is the AMD 5700 XT paired with the Razer Core Chroma enclosure. Now, according to Apple's support website, this combo isn't only supported, but it's actually recommended, provided that I'm running Mac OS Catalina 1015 or later, which I certainly am. After fitting the graphics card into the enclosure, I connected the eGPU setup to my MacBook Pro via the provided Thunderbolt cable. I then ran a HDMI cable between the eGPU and a Samsung CJ791 widescreen monitor. On initial boot up, everything seemed to look just fine. The operating system recognized the eGPU setup and I could see that all the drivers had installed. As far as I could tell, it was that seamless Apple experience. However, in this case, it just wasn't meant to be. Have a look at what I get when running Counter-Strike Global Offensive under the new external GPU acceleration. Because initially, it looks like it starts off okay. However, bit by bit, you can catch some abnormal graphical glitching and it gets worse and worse over time. Eventually, it gets bad enough where the game becomes unplayable and ultimately, it ends in this unrecoverable system crash. Initially, I thought it might just be an isolated case with CSGO, so I tried running the same setup with Unigen's Heaven benchmark. But also, I got the same garbled output. And once again, culminating in an unrecoverable system crash. Not knowing what to do and being a bit of a clueless tech numpty, I did what any old school PC user would do and I wiped out all hard disk partitions and then performed a fresh install of the Mac operating system. Disappointingly, this hasn't fixed any of my issues, which is why I'm reaching out into the internet today in the hopes that one of you guys or gals can point me in the right direction. Does anyone out there know why my supposed Apple supported eGPU setup isn't working? I'd love to know your thoughts. Please share them in the comments below or reach out to me via DM. I would love to hear from you with any pointers. But in the meantime, thank you so much for listening and for any pointers that you can give. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and look forward to when we catch up again.